Setting up your email on your Jitterbug Touch will allow you to stay connected with your loved ones or manage your business on the go. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up email, send an email, and reply to an incoming email. Before we begin, please be sure you have your email address and your password available. It's also important to know that sending and receiving emails to and from your Jitterbug Touch will use your data plan. If your phone is not connected to Wi-Fi, we highly recommend you do so for this tutorial. To set up email on your Jitterbug Touch, from the Home tab, tap the All Apps button. From All Apps, scroll down the alphabetical list of apps to find Settings. From the Settings menu, tap the Accounts tab. Then tap Add Account. Next, tap Email. You should now see the Setup Email Wizard on your screen. When you're ready, tap the Email Address field and type your email address. Before you type your password, tap the Show Password box. This will ensure you are typing your password correctly. Next, tap on the Password field and type your password. Once you've typed your password, tap Next. A check will happen to make sure the email and password combination you entered is correct. If the email address and or password is incorrect, you will see an authentication failed error message on your screen. To correct the error, tap Edit Details. Make the appropriate corrections and tap Next to continue. If your email and password combination is valid, you will see the account options on your screen. In this step, you can set how often you would like your email provider to sync to your phone. To change how often you would like your email to sync to your phone, tap on the Time drop-down and select the option that suits your needs. You can also change the option during peak hours. If you would like to be able to view your emails on your phone and or be notified when an email arrives, keep these two boxes checked. If not, simply tap on the checkboxes to change this option. The automatically download attachments when connected to Wi-Fi is also a great option to save on data usage. Check this box if you would like that option. Now, Tap Next to move on to the next step. The next screen will allow you to change the account name or the way your name is displayed in your email, which are optional. To leave the account name and email as is, tap Done. Now that your email is set up, tap the Home button to take you back to the Home tab. Now let's review sending an email. From the Home tab, tap All Apps and scroll down the alphabetical apps list to find the email app. Tap the email app to open it. You'll see a Compose and Refresh button at the top of the screen. If you have emails available to view, they will display below the Compose and Refresh button. To compose a new email, tap the Compose button. Tap on the To field and type the name or email address of the recipient. If the recipient is in your contact list, a suggestion will display below the To field. Tap the name to select the contact or continue to type the email address yourself. Next, tap the Subject field and type a subject for the email. Now, tap in the white area below the subject and start typing the rest of your email message. Once you've typed your email message, tap the Send button on the top right corner to send your message. A sent notification will display on your status notification bar confirming the email delivery. To respond to an email you received, tap on the email to view the message. Then tap the arrow button pointing to the left to respond to this email. A new message window will appear. 
Tap the white blank area and type your response message. When you're done, tap the Send button on the top right corner of the screen to send your response. Congratulations! Now you know how to send and respond to email messages on your Jitterbug Touch. Check out our other how-to videos and click subscribe to see more videos from Great Call. What would you like to learn next? Tell us in the comments below.